all weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. We had a few showers, light and scattered in nature. They dropped a couple of heavy pockets of rain here and there, but right now things are quiet on radar. Maybe a shower or two out there. Right now in Branson, it's cloudy and it's quiet and it's warm. 84 degrees right now in Branson. Dew points in the lower 70s, a very muggy, very soupy air mass in place. 85 right now in Springfield, 88 out in Joplin, 81 in West Plains, 82 in Mountain Home, and 84 up in Rolla. Dew points area wide in the upper 60s and lower 70s. That warm, soupy air mass still in place, not going anywhere. We're in the top two tiers of the muggy meter, and that is not going to change for the rest of this week and into your holiday weekend. We have a few clouds out in Springfield. We've got a batch of showers now moving out of our northern counties, and again, maybe a spotty shower or two, but otherwise our pattern, at least for today, is pretty quiet. We'll have another round of some scattered showers for the day tomorrow. Again, very isolated, very scattered in nature. What we have is an area of high pressure down to our south and east. We have an area of low pressure out to our west that's going to send us a few rounds of showers and storms for much of this week, but we're going to stay warm and muggy. Notice reds from Louisiana up through Minnesota. The rain that we are going to see this week is going to be isolated. We're not looking at any severe weather setup, and that's not very good for our drought conditions. We're starting to see dry conditions on the drought monitor, which is one out of five but we're not expected to see any significant amount of rain this week and long term it does look dry so that's not very good for our drought conditions through the overnight hours temperatures not going to cool off a whole lot only going to drop into the lower 70s and that's what futurecast will show you we'll start off tomorrow cloudy here in springfield maybe a shower or two up towards brawla and lake ozark and then we'll have some scattered showers and storms tomorrow afternoon another hot and humid day with temperatures in the lower 90s feel like temperatures tomorrow afternoon will be in the middle and upper 90s and then that heat really kicks in Wednesday and Thursday with an area of high pressure moving in. That's going to keep us hot. That's going to keep us humid and that'll keep us dry for the most part. Temperatures are going to top off in the lower and middle 90s Wednesday and Thursday. We stay hot and humid into the holiday weekend with temperatures cooling off just a little bit in the upper 80s and lower 90s. So an isolated storm or two tomorrow, hot and humid Wednesday and Thursday, lower to middle 90 degree temperatures with feel like temperatures between 100 and 105. Isolated storms could bubble up through the day Wednesday and Thursday, feeding off the heat and the humidity, but we do look dry for the most part those days. And then those any storms that do pop will be threats of lightning and some locally heavy rain. 73 degrees overnight tonight, isolated storm, warm and muggy tomorrow, maybe an isolated storm or two, hot and humid. Temperatures in the lower 90s. Here's a look at your 4th of July forecast. We do have some rain chances on Friday with temperatures flirting with 90. Maybe an isolated storm or two on Saturday and then more sunshine on Sunday. But the biggest story this week is going to be the heat and the humidity Wednesday and Thursday. Heat advisories may or may not have to be put into place. It's hard to believe that it's going to feel even hotter and muggier than it already does right now. <laughs> yeah. So we need Just to be prepared for that.